ready? All right. Good evening and welcome to the graduation ceremony of the Frank H. Peterson Class of 2021. A very special moment. A very special moment for our graduates and their families. The Moran Theater asks that you take pictures from your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, today, as we call the names of each of these graduates, we ask that you refrain from cheering, yelling, and applauding until the last graduate is awarded their diploma. Every parent, guardian, family member, and friend deserve the right to hear that special name announced. As the graduates enter, please rise for the processional. I present to you the Frank H. Peterson Academies of Technology Class of 2021.
Good evening. My name is Kalila Singletary. I'm the senior class secretary of Frank H. Priest in class of 2021. I'd like to welcome you all this evening and thank you for sharing this momentous occasion with us. At this time, I'd like to request that everyone silence their cell phones. Gentlemen, remove your caps. Please now, for the, please now join me in the, for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the national anthem performed by Stephanie Petty. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave here oh, the At this time, I'd like to introduce Kalia Andrus. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, I gotta switch the page. All right, so everyone can now please be seated. I know y'all feet hurt. Okay, we good? All right. So good evening, graduating seniors, honored guests, parents, families, friends, faculty, and staff members. My name is Kalia Indris, and I am the president of Frank H. Peterson, class of 2021. It is my pleasure to welcome each of you this evening for the 23rd annual commencement exercise of Frank H. Peterson. I have the honor this evening to introduce our special guests. Platform guests are asked to stand as their names are called and remain standing until everyone in the row is called. Audience, please hold your applause until all names are called. I'm talking about my group over there too. <laughs> they don't listen. All right, so right side front row, we have Mrs. Jessica Mastromato, principal of Frank H. Peterson. <laughs> Dr. Diana Green, Superintendent of Schools. The Honorable Warren Jones, Chairman, School Board Member, District 5. Mr. Jackie Simmons, Executive Director. You guys can now be seated. <laughs> right side back row, we have Miss Christine Bixler, Assistant Principal of Frank H. Peterson. 
Mr. Antonio Banks, Assistant Principal Frank H. Peterson. Mrs. Deborah Thompson, School Counselor for Seniors. Mm, I don't know how to pronounce her first name, so I'm gonna say Mrs. Ruiz, SAC Chair. <laughs> Mrs. Laura Carey, Kelly, whoa, PTSA Vice President. Mrs. Tiffany Abbott, 2021 Teacher of the Year. Please be seated. Left side, front row, we have Kyla Kemper, Fallick Victorian. <laughs> We have Rachel Suego, Salut Torian. Jordan Wilchuk, Top 10. Brooke Suego, Top 10. Stephen Wynn, Top 10. Kyrie Holmes, Top 10 and Vice President of Fundraising. Please be seated. Left side, back row, we have Trinity Lee, top 10. Gideon Castro, top 10. China Tobin, top 10. Ruby and Kaiser, top 10. Hannah Plate, Vice President of Events. Hannah Reese, social manager. Angela Bloxham, treasurer. Kalila Singletary, secretary. Please be seated. Realizing that life is a journey, we should continue to work to surpass the rest and be the very best that we can be. I hope that this special day will be everything we have always hoped it would be and that our future will be successful. As we go forward, let us always continue to address our dreams. At this time, I would like to present Mrs. Jessica Mastramada. Good evening. I'm Jessica Mastramado. And as principal of Frank H. Peterson, I would like to extend a sincere welcome to all of you. Distinguished guests, Superintendent Dr. Green, Honorable Warren Jones, thank you for sharing this special moment for Duval County Public School students and families. We appreciate your partnership for the su success of our students. Moran Theater staff, we thank you for welcoming, welcoming us into your theater to celebrate this awesome occasion in a safe way. Thank you. Teachers and all support staff, you had to make courageous and unthinkable decisions and sacrifices last summer as we moved into this school year, and you did so thoughtfully. Thank you for your courage, knowledge, ingenuity, flexibility, and commitment. You are an incredible team who truly invest in our future by providing an education second to none at Frank H. Peterson. Students, give your teachers and support staff a round of applause. <laughs> I guess I can take this off. Finally, parents and guardians, thank you. Thank you for your trust in the faculty and staff of Frank H. Peterson throughout this unprecedented journey. We were in this together, and we so appreciate being your partners. Thank you for being your students' number one fan, their support system, and for holding them accountable when needed. You raised a fine group of young people who give me hope for the future. They are an overwhelmingly kind, resilient, and purpose-driven group of young people. Thank you, parents. Students, give your parents and family and guests a round of applause.
Today, the faculty and staff of Frank H. Peterson present to you an incredible group of students to earn their high school diploma. And I am so proud of the class of 2021. We have students beginning careers in automotive, aviation mechanics, veterinary assisting, as Florida cosmetologists, in the hospitality and tourism industry, and in manufacturing. We have students pursuing career paths in engineering, medicine, and education. We have graduates already serving our nation in the United States military, and many who have their orders and will be leaving for training soon. The vast majority of you earned your industry certification, a credential that is very rare for a high school student to graduate with, but at Frank H. Peterson is the norm. You gave, your, gave of yourselves and together earned over 5,000 hours of community service. You worked on task forces, served in student governments, and competed in national competitions. Much of this work occurred during an international pandemic. You demonstrate great resilience in the face of adversity. You adapted, you persevered, and you have made the best of an unbelievable crisis and accomplished this monumental milestone. Some of you have endured grave loss. Some of you cared for ailing family. Some of you worked full-time jobs while going to school full-time. All of you made it to this moment. Today is the day you prove you can make great things happen for the world. You know accomplishment. You are basking in it today. I am encouraged that this group of young people will move into their futures seeking to contribute bravely to communities across the nation and throughout the world. To love, listen, learn, laugh, lift, and lead into a bold future because you have done this already by continuing to work through the past year and a half and accomplishing your goals. This group of young people, you, the Frank H. Peterson class of 2021, is poised to innovate, create, and elevate your homes, your communities, your cities, your states, the nation, and the world for the better. All the walks of life you are entering in are in need of honest, hardworking people who care. I am encouraged because this is you, class of 2021. Relish and cherish this time and use it to inspire you again and again throughout your lives when times are tough. You have proven you have it in you to accomplish monumental goals through very trying, unprecedented adversity. You are Peterson Silver Eagles. Thank you for your courage. Congratulations, class of 2021. Now I would like to introduce Mrs. Tiffany Abbott, Frank H. Peterson's 2021 Teacher of the Year. Thank you, Ms. Masamata. Good evening. I am honored and proud to be standing before you today as you prepare to take your last steps as a student of Frank H. Peterson and your first steps down the path that you have chosen. Today is the first day you are free from the stress of studying tests, teachers breathing down your necks about getting back to work and completed and getting to school last time. Now you're free to have the stress of making car payments taking college classes, paying rent, and having your boss breathe down your neck to get back to work. But most importantly, you now have the freedom to make your own choices. As a teacher, I've heard many students say they wish they had more choices. Choices to select the material they read, the courses they took, and the hours and days of school. You are now free to make your own choices about your work, college, military, starting your own business, or anything. The world is yours. 
always keep in mind, choices can also have consequences. Remember our choices have ripple effects through time, some for good and others not so much. Your choices will sometimes lead you to make mistakes. With all that you've learned through all your education, I hope you've experienced and learned that it's okay to make mistakes. Adults make mistakes all the time, though we don't like to admit it. Don't beat yourself over them. Learn from them and move on. Keep moving forward. As one of the class sponsors for several years, I have witnessed many seniors come and go. I've witnessed their triumphs, their struggles, and all of the in-between moments of stress and perseverance. What this has taught me is that if you want something bad enough, you can make it happen, but you can't sit back and wait for it to happen on its own. You have to be willing to give your everything, your all, until you reach your goal. When you go through these struggles, call a mentor, call a friend or family member, even a teacher. The key is knowing that you don't have to go through it alone. Someone will be there willing to help you. Reach out to them. Another class observation I've had as a class sponsor is that you simply can't please everybody. Trust me, I've tried. Between hoodie designs, to the location of events, to the food served at the events, to the theme of the event, you will not please everybody. You have to be satisfied with your choice. No matter what choices you make in life, someone is always going to judge you, can question you, and convince you that you're making the wrong choice. Here's a little advice based on my experiences. When advice is offered, listen. Listen to what others have to say. Some advice is invaluable, some you may need later in life, and some others simply can go straight in one ear out the other. Just let it go. Always know that it is your life and it is your choice to make, whether they are good or bad. They are meant for you to experience. Parents, guardians, siblings, grandparents, and friends, Graduation marks a peak in the mountain that you have been pushing your graduates to climb all of these years. Graduation in our society is also associated with the students coming of age because most, by that time, most are legal adults. They can all now move out, go to college, join the military, or anything they desire to do. As their family and friend, your graduate may not always go down the path you would have chosen for them. Though your journey of pushing them through school and instilling in them your influence may be at an end, your graduate will now be fully able and capable of making their own choices. Some of these choices will make you proud. Others, you may question if they learned anything from you or not. But one thing is certain, they are going to make mistakes. When you see your graduate struggle, your first instinct may be to rush in, take charge, and make everything better again but we can't always be there to save the day. There may come a time when your graduate may rebuff your offer to help. This may be hard for you, and you may struggle and stress over it. The best example I can give is of this is my parents. I say a mental thank you to my parents daily for all they've assisted me in during some of the most stressful times of my life. But there were some experiences they could not help. I had to experience them myself in order to never repeat them. As a parent of a high schooler, I know how hard it is to sit back and watch them make mistakes. But sit back and watch we must. The task of shaping, molding, teaching, and guiding them will never fully be over. But it is time for your graduate to face the ultimate test of tests, the test of life. What we can do is continue to give them the love, support, and advice, but always understand and respect that it is their choice to make. One final observation that I've learned about being a class sponsor is the reward of giving back to the community. I can't tell you the number of times I've wanted to scream, cry, strangle my husband, and throw my hands up and quit. But the one re most important reason that I never did was for my seniors. Each and every one of you is my seniors. We may not have ever spoken, we may not have ever laid eyes on each other, but you are all my seniors, and I love you, and I work hard for you. Now, this isn't about me. It's about purpose. 
The purpose for why I voluntarily give up countless hours, days and nights, worrying, planning, praying, and hoping that everything works out is because when you're happy, I'm happy. Volunteering is the ultimate way of giving back to the community, and it can be rewarding to both you and those who you serve. You may never know the impact you may have on the community, but your service will be appreciated by those in need. In closing, seniors, if you've ever had my class or have spent time with me, you may have heard me say occasionally, enjoy your time in high school while you can, because once you graduate, there's no going back. There's no stop or reset button on adulting. You had your time in adolescence, and now it's time to move on. Many have scoffed, laughed, and outright refused to believe that anyone would want to come back. Whether it takes weeks, months, or even years, but when you have that thought, Miss Abbott was right. I do wish I was back in school. Please feel free to come visit me. I would love to be able to say, I told you so, and hear about your journey. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce the Salutatorian Class of 2021, Rachel Swagel. Thank you, Mrs. Abbott. My dear fellow classmates, parents, teachers, and faculty, I would like to welcome you to the Class of 2021 graduation ceremony for the Frank H. Peterson Silver Eagles. I would like to thank everyone in the audience for being in attendance this evening because you've all had a profound effect on the students graduating today. It is an honor to be standing here today as salutatorian of the class of 2021. This ceremony is to recognize all of the hard work and achievements from the last four years of our high school experience. I hope that I can speak for everyone in my class when I say that this year has been both challenging yet rewarding at the same time. We have had many obstacles that we have learned to overcome as a class together, especially learning to adjust with living with COVID-19. Yet throughout these challenges, we were able to learn and develop certain characteristics that will aid us in having a successful future. Today marks the day where we recognize graduation as not just the end, but the beginning of a larger part of a journey, of li journey in life. We get to look back on all the good and bad memories from our past and acknowledge how they each have taught us something that, I, that we will always remember. I'm sure that the class of 2021 appreciated their teachers and staff members as much as I appreciated mine since they always worked hard to help us be successful. I will always remember spending time in culinary. The restaurant was one of the first places where I learned the true meaning of teamwork and customer service. I hope that everyone in this graduating class is filled with pride to be here today because it is very important part of our lives that we will all remember. The class of 2021 did a great job in creating their legacy here at Frank H. Peterson, the home of the Silver Eagles. Whether we were online or in-person classes, we all recognize that this opportunity to graduate today is truly something that will always bond us together forever. My dad once said, work to live, don't live to work. And I think that this is one of the best pieces of advice that anyone can give because it's saying that it's important to put your best effort into everything because hard work today is tomorrow's success. Every day is an adventure for our graduating seniors as we strive for our goals and dreams. Congratulations to each and every individual that will be walking down the stage to get their diploma today because it is well earned. It really is. Each senior graduating today has the ability to do something great with their future. A high school diploma is one of the greatest tools that can open many doors of opportunities for us in the future. I am extremely proud to be a member of our graduating class of 2021 because we are determined, hardworking, and willing to do anything if we put our mind to it. One of the most significant characteristics that distinguishes our class from the others is that no matter how we had to face unusual challenges, we still managed to do so with a smile on our face, and we always knew how to have fun even if we were six feet away. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2021 Silver Eagles. We are destined to be great. <laughs> Now I would like to introduce our valedictorian of the class of 2021, Kyla Kemper. Thank you, Rachel. Good evening, Frank H. Peterson's class of 2021. Welcome parents, family, and friends. Today is a great day and it should be celebrated with your friends and family. 13 years ago, we entered kindergarten not expecting to reach this day so quickly. 
Just yesterday, it felt as if we were doing simple math and playing tag with friends. And here we are today, in front of our peers and family, waiting for our new paths to begin. My name is Kyla Kemper. I stand here tonight as the 2021 valedictorian. On May 17th, Mrs. Thompson emailed my mom discussing my achievement of finishing as ranked number one in the class. I was told that I had to start on a valedictorian speech for our graduation. And I'm not gonna lie, I started panicking real bad <laughs> about the speech. I did not want to mess this up for the entire class. After hours of researching valedictorian speeches and letting my anxiety eat away at me, I finally gathered my thoughts and wrote this speech. At the start of our spring break in junior year, a pandemic began, and we did not expect it to affect our entire senior year at all. Unfortunately, the severity of the pandemic affected us to the point where we had to give up things that were usually given. However, we were able to persist through the hardships that COVID presented to us during our school year, and I congratulate all of you for that. This school year has been unlike any other. We did not let it hinder us and got through it together. Over the last four years, we have learned a lot. It was not easy, especially with COVID in the way. We were presented with many challenges and obstacles. Mr. Montavani taught us derivatives in the unit circle in AP Calculus. Don't ask me anything from IP Calculus because I literally cannot remember anything still to this day. <laughs> Mrs. Ellis taught us write, how to write wonderful, very lengthy essays our junior year. And then I remember Ms. Young's attempt to make us dissect cats in anatomy class our junior year. Thank goodness that COVID happened around there because Lord who knows what would have happened. <laughs> I, perse I persevered through many hurdles to get to where I am and to be on the stage. I stressed for it and I strived for it. And as you can tell, I succeeded. So thank you to everyone that helped me achieve it. Thank you staff for the hard work and dedication that you put towards making our school a clean and beautiful place where we can come to learn every day, which helps students and faculty. I want to thank the teachers, both still working and retired. Mrs. Bose, Ms. Lepper, Mrs. White, Mr. Montavani, Mrs. Ellis, Mrs. Garul, and the rest of the teachers that helped us along our journeys. Thank you to Mrs. Mastromato, Ms. Abbott, Mr. Abbott, Ms. Vixler, and all the other admins that worked persistently and endlessly to try and give us the best year we could get, even with all the hardships they encountered. Thank you, parents and family members, for all that you've done for us. Thank you for all that you sacrificed and for all the money that you have paid to support us throughout our journeys. We love you. I also want to thank my friends for supporting me throughout the years. I saved the best three for last. Thank you to my mom, Rose Kemper, who has taken the role of both my mother and my father in my life. She has worked tirelessly for so many years as a single mother to support me. <laughs> Thank you to my brother, Sean Kemper, who made me both laugh and yell angrily throughout my stressful years. And thank you to my baby brother, Jaden Kemper, for being my motivation and for watching me over me up in the skies. I want to thank my family for being the best they can and for supporting me for my full four years here and my entire 18 years of living. This class of 2021 has without a doubt been one of the most successful and outstanding classes in Frank H. Peterson's history, and I don't need stats or facts to approve this. I know we are the best class and that's on period. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We did it. Thank you. Okay. Now presenting Mrs. Mastromato. How can you not feel hopeful after those two? Thank you, ladies. Will all graduates please rise? <laughs> Dr. Diana Green, will you please come forward? I am proud to present to you the Frank H. Peterson Class of 2021. Each student 
here assembled has completed all requirements as prescribed by the Duval County Public School Board and the State of Florida and is hereby entitled to receive a high school diploma or a certificate of completion. By the authority vested in me by the State of Florida and the Duval County Public School Board, and as superintendent, I pronounce upon those of you who have completed the necessary requirements, graduates of the Duval County Public School System, and and confer upon each of you all rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Frank H. Peterson, Class of 2021, congratulations. Graduates of the Class of 2021, please come forward to receive your diplomas. Will the Honorable Warren Jones, Dr. Green, and Mr. Simmons please join us in awarding the diplomas of Frank H. Peterson, Class of 2021. Kyrie Holmes, Aviation. Kalila Singletary, Communications. Stephen Wynn, Agriscience. Angelina Bloxham, Cosmetology. Brooke Swagel, Agriscience. Hannah Reese, Communications. Jordan Wilchuk, Agriscience. Hannah Plate, Communications. Rachel Swagel, Culinary Arts. Ruby Ann Kaiser, Agriscience. Kyla Kemper, Agriscience. China Tobin, Culinary Arts. Kalia Endres, Communications. Gideon Castro, Communications. Terry De La Cruz, Culinary Arts. Trinity Lee, Culinary Arts. Gabriela Dominguez, Communications. Sahara Yurik, Culinary Arts. Tyra Spielman, Communications. Trevor Galbraith, Culinary Arts. Natasia McKinnon, Cosmetology. Michaela Dewberry, Culinary Arts. Chantra Him, Cosmetology. Tyreek Day, Robotics. Tyriana Bird, Culinary Arts. Alexander Lassier, Robotics. Shania Pinkney, Culinary Arts. Mackenzie South, Communications. Joy Moore, Communications. Hold on. Carlos Marino, Robotics. Lauren Brooks, Communications. Isaiah Allen, Communications. Lani Vernet, Early Childhood. Jasmine Oak, Communications. Juliana De Jesus Ocasio, Cosmetology. Jose Rios Jr., Robotics. Alondra Masso Ortiz, Cosmetology. Autumn Hipsher, Culinary Arts. Samuel Petty, Communications. Julimar Cruz Feebles, Culinary Arts. Stephanie Petty, Communications. Persephone Kelly, Communications. 
Adriana Page, Communications. Amber Looney, Early Childhood. Melody Howard, Communications. Kendall Dixon, AgriScience. Jaden Gathers, Communications. Alexis Sotomayor, Communications. Mariana Clay, Culinary Arts. Melanie Horn, Cosmetology. Cassandra Peniza, AgriScience. Alexis Wofford, Early Childhood. Chenille Holly, AgriScience. Darion Bigham, Communications. Haley Jo Fisher, AgriScience. Ariel Mobley, Communications. Amber Gary, AgriScience. Cameron Wilson, Communications. Caitlin Agosto, AgriScience. Yamari Reed, Communications. Gina Jelpi, AgriScience. Joel Ramirez, Communication. Artisha James, Cosmetology. Logan Irvine, Communication. Mabel Jax, Cosmetology. Michael Richardson, Communication. Gravy. Natasha Clay, AgriScience. Sean Curry, Communications. Jordan Sheely, AgriScience. Matthew Joseph, AgriScience. Amari Finch, Communications. Bethany Clark, AgriScience. Madison McDaniel, Communications. Alyssa Freider, AgriScience. Jacaria Rivers, Communications. Anne Marie Taylor, AgriScience. Jordan Powell, Communications. Emily Watkins, AgriScience. Michael Stevenson, Communications. Aaliyah Bates, AgriScience. Akia Smith, Communications. Antoinette Nichols, AgriScience. Malachi Cantrell, Communications. Ariana Wardingo, AgriScience. Lorian Ross, Communications. Janaya Brazil, AgriScience. Sean Bussey, Communications. Haley Wilson, AgriScience. Anne Marie Berrios, Communication. Kylie Lindsley, AgriScience. S Stephanie Gralaw Banks, Communication. Belicia Aviles, AgriScience. Claire Doloroso, Communication. Alyssa Smart, AgriScience. Rosa Johnson, Communications. Thomas Mitchell, Aviation. Ashley Nichols, Communications. 
Ivan Lorenzo, Aviation. David Pearson, Communications. Ian Delgado, Aviation. Samuel Lukadu the Fifth, Communications. Tabitha Chandler, AgriScience. Tershawn Stanley, Communications. Andrea Loveland, AgriScience. Ivy Baines, Communications. Jashia Phillips, AgriScience. Kazavion Scriven, Communications. Kwasim Scruggs, AgriScience. Shannon Ackerman, Communications. Corbin Gronzik, Aviation. Jaden Keaton, Communications. Caleb Heisel, Aviation. Micah Williams, Communication. Kavika Stratard, Aviation. Sierra Ninman, Communications. Rajay Simmons, Aviation. Deja Wyatt, Communications. Christian Villafane Rivera, Aviation. Tierra Murray, Communications. Glenn Chang, Aviation. Kayla Tilka, Communications. Fatija Nais, Aviation. Jasbriella Torres, communication. Kimari Williams, aviation. Neomaya Johnson, communications. <laughs> Kenneth Ellison III, aviation. Yasir McNeil, communications. <laughs> Kevin Means, aviation. Xavier Frederick, Communications. <laughs> Jeremiah Jones, Aviation. Chelsea Hickman, Communications. Christopher Sapp, Aviation. Jason Brumel, Communications. Daniel Carrera, Aviation. Your friend or senior, Automotive. Gabriel Gallegos, Aviation. Ethan Lasco, Automotive. Damon Leonard, Aviation. Curtis Thompson, Communications. Joel Murray, Aviation. Dylan Honors, Communication. Josie Osteen, Culinary Arts. Xavion Jenkins, Communications. Brianna Cruz, Culinary Arts. Ava Christ, Automotive. Hannah Cooley, Culinary Arts. Gregory Axel, Automotive. Nyjah Sampson, Culinary Arts. Faith McClintock, Automotive. You say make you step? All right, thank you. Aiden Pagan, Aviation. Nick Estep, Automotive. Kevin Dunwoody, Aviation. 
Lyndon Thomas, Adamoda. Charles Sapp, Jr., Aviation. Daniel Wiegand, Automotive. Christian Sapp, Aviation. Rodriguez Hammond, Automotive. Terry Session, Culinary Arts. Jordan Marston, Automotive. Anaya Taft, Culinary Arts. Horace Holmes III, Automotive. Alicia Tillman, Culinary Arts. Jacaris Harris, Automotive. Key Marie Cruz Maldonado, Culinary Arts. Antoine Evans, Jr., Automotive. <laughs> Elijah Fawcett, Culinary Arts. Nyquel Corley, Automotive. Charlie Jordan, Culinary Arts. Jermaine Wright, Jr., Automotive. Nia Brown, Culinary Arts. Dwayne Cummings, Automotive. Peter Gill, Culinary Arts. Jonathan Bell, Automotive. Jay Moon, Culinary Arts. Dominique Samuels, Automotive. Arene Cowan, Culinary Arts. Roy Sanchez, Automotive. Trinity Allen, Culinary Arts. Gabriel Jones, Automotive. Sherrod Shepard, Culinary Arts. Brandon Farhat, Automotive. Donovan Felton, Culinary Arts. Emily Griffin, Automotive. Shauna Robinson, Culinary Arts. Ethan Christian De Leon, Automotive. Kariah Wilkins, Culinary Arts. Robert Johnson, Automotive. Sierra Hutcherson, Culinary Arts. Jose Lariano, Automotive. Joelise Serrano Moyeno, Culinary Arts. Nay Blue Moo, Automotive. Yuritzi Sanchez Bautista, Culinary Arts. Giancarlos Disca, Automotive. Karina Rivero, Cosmetology. Chad Skinner, Robotics. Jocelyn Flores, Cosmetology. Trevor Stickrat, Robotics. <laughs> Neri Mraz, Cosmetology. William Nixon, Communications. Asharia Stevens, Cosmetology. Jaquan Lane, Robotics. 
Taya Young, Cosmetology. Byron Orti Ordonez, Robotics. Cabria Smith, Cosmetology. Evan Pagan, Robotics. Cyan Sampson, Cosmetology. Reginald Goodwin II, Robotics. Khalil Sudlow, Culinary Arts. Dalton Coward, Robotics. Marvin Denard, Culinary Arts. Taran Google, Robotics. Montia Holland, Cosmetology. Abizer Wochefo, Robotics. Renaya Hendrickson, Cosmetology. Brianna McNeil, Robotics. Zykira Blackman, Cosmetology. Michaela Donsiro, Robotics. Asia Smith, Cosmetology. Latara Lewis, Robotics. Rebecca Marcotte, Cosmetology. Joshua Howie, Robotics. Alexis Camara, Cosmetology. Ian Cratch, Robotics. Liliana Hernandez, Cosmetology. Laron James, Robotics. Malaysia Evans, Cosmetology. Malik Lewis, Robotics. Mariah Manuel, Cosmetology. Malek Coleman, Robotics. Zaria Law, Cosmetology. Lance Singleton Jr., Robotics. Alyssa Chang, Cosmetology. Carl Benjamin, Robotics. Shaylee Romero, Early Childhood. Damian Etheridge, Jr., Robotics. Shakira Hancock, Cosmetology. Perla Morales, Cosmetology. Caitlin Desiderio, Early Childhood. Sydney Smith, Early Childhood. <laughs> Melanie Elliman, Early Childhood. Cameron Wallace, Early Childhood. Paris Bowman, Early Childhood. Deanna Walker, Early Childhood. Richard Kerr, Early Childhood.
Graduates, please stand. Congratulations. Please take your left hand and move your tassel from right to the left of your graduation caps. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the accomplishments of the graduates of the Frank H. Peterson Academy of Technology Class of 2021. Dedication 